Preparing data for interpolation. Welcome to video tutorial on how to prepare data for interpolation along an alignment. This involves two simple steps. A. Mark changes along the alignment and B. Create offset lines and move entities to specific layers. Mark changes along the alignment. MCH. In road, railway and canal projects, Cross sections are created at fixed distances, say 30 meters, and the area computation is done in these cross sections, and then the volume is computed depending on the area. Normally, survey is also done at those fixed distances only. However, it is not possible to exactly survey on the points at those distances and their respective offsets. Using eSurvey CAD interpolation module, interpolating the values is easy. Type MCH mark changes at the command prompts. A window will appear expecting inputs like prefix, suffix, starting change, increment, etc. Please specify cross section interval in increment and cross section line length as per the project requirement. Click on OK and then select the alignment. You may note that program will create cross section lines that is changes along the alignment. Depending on the input values, label indicating the cross-section value is also marked. Create offset lines and move entities to specific layers. For interpolating multiple values, eSurvey CAD expects layerization of text and lines. All the cross-section lines need to be in CS layer. Central line, that is alignment line, needs to be in LS layer. You can offset the center line on either side depending on offsets at which you want to interpolate the values. In this example, you can note that the center line is offset at distances 2, 4, 7 and 10 on either side. These offset lines have to be present in offset layer. Elevation text representing the surface should be in elev layer. Once the text and lines are in LS, elev, offset and elev layer, you are ready to interpolate values in bulk. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video, you will learn how to interpolate values using straight line method.